Have you ever woke up thinking about, you know, just yourself and kind of what you've gone through or why um, things may be working or not working for you? Well, this morning when I woke up, I was thinking about the pandemic. Uh, there are some things that, of course, I've learned over the pandemic about myself. I know that during this time, you see people talking about God is trying to get our attention. And I took that literally to heart. And I began to, I would say, like go into this cocoon of learning, um, reflection, introspective to better understand kind of what I was missing or what I wasn't hearing. Um, prior to the pandemic starting, I went through some health challenges that I was able to overcome, uh, praise God. But what I realized during this pandemic was things about me and why I wasn't having this success in my life that I thought I should have or what I felt like I was quote unquote entitled to, right? And so I had to look at Angela and say, why am I not getting the success that I think I deserve? Number one, I realized that I wasn't consistent. And in the areas where I lacked consistency were the areas that I wasn't having success. I, number two, realized that I was doing a lot of good things, but they weren't things that were fulfilling my long-term purpose and goals. And so I had to cut those things off. Uh, number three, I realized that fear was holding me back from a lot of things that, and it was disguising itself as excuses. Um, uh, uh, number four, I realized also that I wasn't being a good friend. And what I mean by that, I was being a friend when it was convenient for me. And so I began to be more intentional about loving the friends that I said I love, nurturing those relationships, reaching out, not just taking those relationships uh, for granted. Because, you know, in the end, I was. And number five, taking off things on my plate that were not um, a part of my gifted area. And what I mean is spend more time doing things where I'm gifted, things that I enjoy, uh, things that uh, bring me fulfillment and um, being able to make sure that I'm protecting my emotional health and my physical health. Because at the end of the day, I cannot take care of others if Angela is not taken care of. And hopefully this uh, inspires you to do some self-reflection and so that your 2022 will be better and your 2023 will be greater. You all have an amazing day. God bless.